Dr. Schwartz, what do you think about SARMs for women? Um, I think that the jury's out on it. I think that it is in the world of the bodybuilders and a lot of people are using them. I think that we don't really know the long-term effects on the body. So uh, I think, you know, I don't know how it's going to affect cardio, you know, cardiovascular. I don't know. I mean, I use it in some of, you know, very little in women. I don't, I mean, we just don't do it in women. I don't have you, a, I think Betsy would be more into this. And Dr. Turner, both Dr. Turner and Dr. Yurt train very, very hard as women. And That's so, right. What do you think? You think, uh, Suzanne, you think there's any benefits to SARMs for, for, for women? So I, I have a couple of heavy bodybuilders. I've got a gal who does uh, comp competitive uh, bodybuilding figure competitions, and she does use that because she loses her hair and she has gorgeous hair. And so if she takes straight testosterone, she loses her hair. Um, so we have done that in cycles, of course, not ever using anything continuously, but that's one of the things we've cycled for her is the LGD. Um, there's lots of other things we use in her. Your question earlier was, are there any other peptides we need to talk about? And I think one we can't forget about is oxytocin. I think that's mm -hmm. really one of the ones I use a lot for women. Mm -hmm. There's so much, uh, you know, and again, this is post all the other things that we would like to do, but there's so much benefit as far as social anxiety and especially as we're coming out of this season of really being isolated, I think we're going to start to see a lot of people with anxiety and with um, with a, almost an agoraphobia of going out into society. So I think it's one of the things we can use. We actually have a jar of the trochies in my office that we use for stressful days. <laughs> um, we that we combine it with some L-theanine in the troche, and um, we call them world peace trochies because they... Oh. They really do help with that social anxiety, with just the sort of overwhelm feeling that a lot of people get. There was, there have been several rat studies using the um, the um, oxytocin as far as weight loss goes, and I think there was one human study that showed a 12 unit uh, four times a day to be beneficial for weight loss. I haven't seen that be the case when I've tried it for patients, uh, but it does have a little bit of appetite suppression, so some people are able to. So I'll have them use it if I'm having them do intermittent fasting. I'll have them use it in the morning uh, to help them with their butyrate, to help them get through that first several weeks when it's difficult to make the transition to intermittent fasting. Uh, oxytocin increases l rotary in the gut. l rotary is, uh, uh, is a microbe that is associated with um, <clears throat> A, a, a healthy aging phenotype in rodents. And we assume that it will cross over to humans as well. I love oxytocin. I've been using oxytocin for eight years now, but now I use pretty high doses, 150 units post-workout in my peptide stack that I use and 150 units before bed. And um, I don't get the pounding heart anymore, but I do get the, the sensation, the head rush, but oxytocin crushes cortisol post-workout I feel like I can go back and train the same muscles like later that day when I use high doses of oxytocin. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up, Suzanne, because it has actually been kind of one of my favorite peptide hormones to use uh, in my in my patients because it has so many positive benefits. Right. It, it, it does. I do think it, it, it helps with weight loss. Um, I think sometimes you have to dose it a little high, but I do think it helps with weight loss. I think it helps with muscle building. I think it helps with mood. I think it, you know, it's immune modulating. It is an amazing, amazing, which is why you make so much of it in breast milk. Right. And, you know, it, it's it, it's it has such huge huge benefits. And, and, uh, I, you know, so I use a ton of oxytocin. I think it's a peptide hormone. We've sort of got, we've sort of reawakened to, wow, you can do a lot with this and it's very safe. Um, it has great anabolic potential without having any of the bad anabolic side effects. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's the only thing I use for an anabolism right now is just oxytocin and, you know, I can get a good effect from it. There's good I, research that oxytocin is. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Erica. I like. I, I use it a lot too, and I find that it's really great results with it as well. Yeah.